back to the next video in this video i will show you how to autofill otp codes from sms in react native's new architecture for android using this sms user consent api now there are two apis one is called the sms retriever api second one is the sms user consent api i will be using this uh, now uh, so the typical flow would be like uh, user enters a mobile number he clicks on a button and once he clicks on a button uh, your app will call some backend service and your backend service will call some uh, sms service right to send the otp to the actual user now i haven't created the backend so what i'm doing is that i'm using a service called twilio and the reason i'm why i'm using is that it does not require me to have a credit card or debit card i can use it the free credits of it but you can use whatever service you prefer i haven't created the backend so what i will do is that uh, i have one button i will show you the output in a bit i have one button i will click on it it will st uh, start listening for uh, sms messages then i will go to twilio i will send an otp to my mobile number i will receive a message and it will automatically detect the otp from my uh, message so this is how the flow looks like so i have shown you some sh screenshots as well and also i will be using uh, react native's new architecture so it's better you go to this uh, turbo modules.md file as well because i will be copying a lot of code from this particular documentation so keep this documentation handy so first let's look at the output then i will show you the code okay guys so as you can see here is the output now i just have one button assume that the user has already entered his mobile number and he will click on the get otp button now i don't like i told you i don't have a backend service right i will click on the otp button it will start listening for newer sms but apart i will show you the code in a bit but apart from that you will also need to call your backend service which will trigger the otp message i will just go to twilio and manually send the otp message to me so first we will have to click on this button so it will uh, start start the user consent api i'll click on it and here is the toast message for it now sorry the output is little blurred because I, I will send the sms message via twilio to my app so i'll just click on send test i have hard coded my mobile number again we are back to our output and here you can see i have received the message i will also show you the message because there is some sample text attached to it like your sample test verification code is this because we need to segregate later on the otp from our sms because we get the entire sms content and here you can see it is telling me to read this if i click on allow here you can see i got the otp code now what if just at the time when i click get otp some other message come to my mobile then this will cause issues okay but i think this is a very little chance for that uh, so it's up to you how you want to uh, do it uh, but i think there is very little chance for that uh, yeah so here is my code so firstly this is I, ha I have created a react native application first thing is you will have to enable the new architecture so just search for new arc enabled inside your project it should be present inside gradle dot properties and you will have to make this as true once you have made this as true uh, now i will be copying a lot of code from the documentation so firstly i have created a folder called rt and my sms you can name it whatever you feel like but uh, be careful with this name but because we need to use uh, create folders and rename things a lot according to this folder so it's better you follow what i have done so firstly you will have to create a package.json file which i have created and copied it from the documentation only this name has been changed this name has been changed uh, this has been changed and this has been changed okay uh, just a quick second okay uh, next uh, here i have created a js folder inside that i have created a typescript file again i have copy pasted it from docs here i have created a method called register now sorry register is misspelled but that's fine and here i have one promise which uh, returns a string which will from which we will actually get the otp and here again i have renamed this rest everything i have copied it from documentation next i have gone to the android folder inside that i have firstly created this build.gradle file again i have copy pasted it from documentation i have updated the gradle version compile hdk is 34 i think 35 35 is also out so maybe you can update it to 35 this namespace i have changed uh, this i have copied it from docs but i have updated the kotlin version and this too i have copied it from the sms user consent api documentation so yeah you can do the same thing uh, but use whatever is the latest version at the time of you guys watching the video then uh, here as you can see i have created all this folder so you will have to create this firstly i will go to my sms package.kt again i have copied pasted it from docs uh, only thing is i have changed the package name 
this name has been changed and here i have everywhere written my sms module okay uh, so yeah that's it now create my sms module dot kt so firstly again i have changed the package name so these are all the imports which you can just copy paste it here i have uh, implemented extended like lifecycle event listener as well as activity event listener this is our promise and here i have created a broadcast receiver so this broadcast receiver will actually uh, listen for messages but we need to uh, so yeah firstly uh, suppose this broadcast receiver is registered i'll show you the entire code in a bit but once it is registered we will get the data from our message so we have to get the sms retriever status as well then we'll have to get the status code then we have to get the consent intent and here i'm still using start activity for result because uh, i don't know how to use a register for activity result in uh, react native turbo module uh, in case if you are not aware about register for activity result it's fine you can ignore it for now but i have a worry that it might be deprecated in future versions of android like it is already deprecated they might completely remove it but yeah i don't know how to use register for activity result in case if you are curious you can watch my flutter video or uh, native android video about this uh, in that i'm using register for activity result again here is for timeout so uh, there could be a timeout error in case if the user does not receive the otp in given period of time uh, here i have displaying a toast message but you can handle it however you feel like here i am overriding this method this is our register method so i'm assigning the promise which we get to our sms promise and this is the important part so as soon as the user clicks on suppose you have entered the phone number inside your app user clicks on get otp button apart from calling your backend service you also need to call this particular thing okay so be mindful of that and inside the init state you don't need this success and failure listener this was just part of my debugging also one more thing here i am passing null because i don't know from which uh, phone number or telephone number uh, the sms will come from right i'm not talking about the uh, phone number which the user has sent to my backend i'm talking about the phone number which which will send the otp to the registered or to the user who is trying to register okay if you don't know this like me pass it as null here we are registering life cycle event listener as well as activity event listener this is the companion object and inside on host pause we unregister our receiver on host resume we register our receiver and inside on activity result as you can see uh, once we get the proper uh, result we get the message out of it now he, if you have noticed my message contain this particular text as well that's why i am trying once you get the message it will give you the entire content of the message it won't fetch the otp because it won't know what is otp and what is the actual uh, rubbish string so that's why you, it, you will get the entire message now it's your job to filter out the otp from your message because mostly uh, this as uh, otp message which the user gets are uh, mostly static only the otp uh, number changes so yeah that's why uh, here you can see i have hard coded this part and uh, i'm uh, substringing it so that i can just get the verification code and once i have the verification code i'm sending it back to uh, react native side and here also i need to override this particular method once that is done you will have to open your terminal uh, go to the root of your react native project firstly you will have to run this particular command once you do that you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project then you will have to run this particular command but here you will have to write your own project name as you can see my project name is rn app sms consent api so change it over here over here as well as over here once that is done you will again have to cd to this main android folder which we have and then you will have to run this particular command now to use it uh, here you can see i'm importing it something like this i have created a state for my sms as well so here i have just one button and uh, here i'm calling register so here you will also need to call your own backend service to trigger sms right uh, but I, I was doing it manually through twilio and then i was cre immediately clicking on this uh, so i was cl clicking on this button and then sending the message via twilio manually right uh, but yeah once we get the sms i'm displaying it over here uh, inside of our text element uh, so yeah i think uh, that should be it uh, yeah uh, thank you for watching bye